The citizen recommendations in the six reports are just that, they're recommendations. What we'd like to see happen in a perfect world where we could decide everything on our own and money was no object. About a month ago, Boise Mayor Lauren McLean was given reports from six committees she formed shortly after being sworn in. So 72 citizens from the City of Trees, they came up with some ideas. And Mayor McLean wanted those ideas to be transparent. So she posted those reports on the city's website. There was a report on the environment. There was a report on housing, on transportation, on economic development, on public engagement. And there was one on making Boise an equitable city for everyone. Written by 18 volunteers, their ideas have been getting some attention lately. The report covered issues ranging from immigration to increasing minimum wage to culture and language considerations. Things they thought the city should address during a COVID-19 crisis in the mayor's next 100 days from her first year to her first term. So you could say these reports have done what the mayor might have intended, sort of sparked a conversation. And when I first met with them, my charge to them was, please um, think um, hard, work hard together, bring your passion to the table and make recommendations for me to review. And that's what each of the six committees did. Um, and the report that's been brought up this week is one of many that I'd encourage the public to read. And there are over 350 recommendations in all of them. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people out there on social media referring to it, I mean, for lack of a better term, a socialist manifesto. Like this is what is going to happen kind of thing or what you would like to see happen. Is that true? I'd encourage the public to read the letter that I published when we transparently put each of the reports on the city website. And in it, I explained that I asked citizen volunteers to provide me with their recommendations. And from that, I would have to prioritize um, what makes sense to implement as a city, and most importantly, how all this fits into the imperative of this moment, which is to ensure that we um, address a pandemic and protect our public health, and ultimately take steps and make investments that will ensure that our community recovers in a very strong way. But this one here, again, got a lot of attention. Free contraception, abortion, and reproductive health care. There are um, points throughout all my transition reports that um, provide ideas and solutions that are not in the purview of the city. And so when, when we looked at these reports, when I looked at the reports, I didn't take one by itself. I looked at all of them, um, hundreds of pages of ideas. Um, it was incumbent upon me to recognize what I can do and what I can't do, to thank and honor the hard work of citizens volunteers who brought their ideas to the table. And then ultimately, as mayor, I have to work with the team here to create priorities. And we have addressed those and will continue to address those in the budget process. We are focused on affordable housing, transportation, economic opportunity, and climate innovation, given the place where our community is today. Bottom line is just because it's on paper doesn't make it come true. Otherwise, I'd have been playing Nintendo my freshman year in high school instead of riding around on a red Ted speed bike. And as the mayor said, these are just the hopes and desires of those 72 volunteer citizens. Some might say you can tell a lot by who someone surrounds themselves with, and these would be the voices surrounding Mayor McLean. But increasing minimum wage, eliminating juvenile detention centers, sex education in schools, even free birth control and abortions, those are things the mayors of Idaho cities don't have control over. They take a strong concerted effort by several parties and all of it would be dictated by the budget. And the mayor said that is now focused right now on housing, transportation and economic opportunity, as you heard her just say. Well, if you'd like to take a look at all 350 recommendations Mayor McLean was given, you can find a link to the city's website in this story at KTVB.com.